good, you guys? It's your girl Cutie, and I'm back with another live video. Okay, if you are new here, you guys, thank you for tuning into my channel, and I hope you guys consider joining the family. Um, I'm so very excited on today's show. Um, of course, I got a drag today. Okay, I just been feeling draggy in a drag mood. So we're going to have a drag today. Yesterday, I just want to say, yesterday's show did really, really well. We had like 400 and some people in the show. I just want to apologize for Noel and Grape Tea and Joke and all of them. They were up here cutting up, okay? And I just want to apologize for them because y'all know I remain a lady at all times. And, you know, Noel and them in my chat, they was just cutting up. It was Joker, Noel, you know, uh... And, and a few others, all right? So so they 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 was on their uh, worst behavior yesterday, but it's okay. So before we go ahead and get started, you guys, I do have a drag today. So if you guys are a little offended by adult jokes, not like adult jokes like XXX, but like jokes like that are like funny, then you might want to step out. I love to start my shows with comedy. I love to laugh. I know it sounds crazy, but comedy is kind of like a hobby for me. I love being funny. I have a way with words. And um, yeah, so let me tell y'all this before we get into the drag, okay? Y'all go ahead and hit the like button, but I am going to tell y'all this before we get into the drag. So you guys, I was watching a show. Um, I was watching Catfish, right? And I was watching the episode on Catfish. Please listen to me, y'all, because this is funny as hell, but it's not really funny. So hey, y'all. Hey, Hidden in Plain Sight, Tony, Odom, Pat, Pamela, Mita, Joker, Noel. Um, shout out to everybody that's here. Hey, Keisha, how are you? Hey, Lex for life. Hello. Hey, Grape T. Love you too, Grape T. Uh, so y'all, let's go ahead and get started, okay? So I'm gonna tell y'all this until we get like the likes up and stuff, and then we're gonna go ahead and continue. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Yes, thank you, Grape T. So y'all, I was watching Catfish, and it was this man and this girl. They were both black, and the girl was really, really sexy. She was like a sexy, sexy girl, and the guy was like, he was like dark skin, but he wasn't like really just the best looking. But he was like a decent guy. Like I thought he was a decent looking guy. So the girl, she seen pictures of him and stuff. But every time they would meet up, y'all know how catfish goes, right? So I'm going to fast forward it. So every time they would want to meet up, the dude would be like, no, I got to do this. I got to da, 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 da. I can't meet up. I got to watch my nieces and nephews. I got to watch this, that, and the third. So you guys, this is the craziest episode I've ever seen. I'm trying to hurry up and rush it so we can get started on the drag. So the girl and all of them finally meets up with the guy because the guy's like, no, I, I give me a month. Give me two months. I'm, it's not time to meet. She was like, you know, um, I think his name was Ibrahim or Ibrahim or something like that. Ibrahim, Ibrahim, something like that. I forgot the guy's name. But so she eventually met up with the guy. Right. And the guy was who he said he was. The only thing was this is the first time catfish ever scared me. Like when the guy started talking, I immediately got scared. Like I immediately like just like, I was shocked because his whole front grill was like gone. Like he literally had no teeth. Right. And that's not the that's not the funny part at all, because, of course, everybody has their own things, their own, you know, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Everyone has their own insecurities. OK, um, but he was missing all of his teeth in the front. And so the girl, she was so shocked, like she made like a little noise. She was like, oh, oh my God. And then like. When she made the noise, like she was just like, I'm, I'm, I have no words. Like I'm at a loss for words. My mind is blank. So I want to know who y'all think is wrong because hey, Winter, hey, Teresa, hey, Miss Harley, hey, Latoya, hey, everyone. If I miss somebody, y'all don't think I'm mad, y'all. I just, I sometimes I see people in the chat. I'm like, oh, I forgot. I forgot to say hi. So hi, everybody. Hi, Victoria Martin. Hi, Pat. Um, so it's like before she met him, she's like, I'm so in love. Listen to his voice. He's so sexy. He's so tall. And I think for me, dark skin and heights and not really just tall, taller than me. Okay. But dark skin is my weakness. I don't know why I'm just, I love, 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 love dark skin men. Um, hi, Mercy. 
I think dark skinned men, dark skin is just beautiful. I'm so attracted to dark skinned men and uh, dark skinned females are so beautiful. So that's that with that, right? Um, hi, Mercy. So she was so love. She's like, yeah, I'm ready to meet him. I'm ready to meet him. I love him. I'm so in love da, 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 because they've had that connection, right? You've had that connection with someone. And when you have that, yes, Ibrahim, that's his name. That's his name. That's his name. I don't know his last name, but his name is Ibrahim. Yes. So, you know, when you meet a person, you have that connection. You're like, man, this is exciting. This is new. And you're getting close with this person. And y'all are talking. You're, you're, you're interacting with this person. This is somebody that becomes your best friend, right? You, you want to make sure they're good. Whatever it is, it's like they can't do no wrong. But it's like when she found the guy, it's like she kind of had a change of heart when she saw him that he had no teeth. And we about to get to the tea. I promise y'all, we about to get to the tea. Let me tell y'all this real quick because I want to know y'all opinion. Then we're going to get to the tea because I got to actually do a drag. It's a drag on Carlissa. I'm just dragging everybody today. And it's an intervention. I'm not going to say drag. That's a negative thing. Intervention. I'm going to give everybody an intervention. Carlissa, everyone's getting an intervention. Okay. But we're going to get to that. So my thing is, so what Neve and Cammy, Neve was like, yeah, you know, what's the problem? And I'm like, Neve, you don't see this man right here with his whole grill missing? Like she, the girls, he scared her, like, because he was hiding it from her. And I feel like maybe he should have said, hey, you know, I lost my teeth in the fight. Because she was like, what happened? And then soon as it's like her whole demeanor changed, like her whole vibe changed. She was like, yo, well, you know, I've been through the relationship. And she was like, you know, I just want to kind of focus on me. So would you consider being friends? And girl, she was like, oh, no, I love you. You're my best friend, but I'm just not ready right now. Can we still be friends? And the guy actually was crying on the show. And that's why I felt so bad for him, because he actually was crying. And so, um, right, girl, why after the show, like, Kefi said they, they didn't get it <laughs> <laughs> catfish i'm not trying to be funny catfish said that they didn't get in contact with each other like they were not talking afterwards you know how they get you update stuff my question to y'all is do y'all think that she's wrong because i noticed that cammy said in the episode she was like all right when he get his teeth fixed you can't come crawling back and i was like he scared her like i feel like he should have said something to her you know what i'm saying like and then it's crazy because when I got catfish, I've got catfish before a long time ago. And when I actually got catfish, y'all, it was such, it was crazy because I literally talked to this guy for months. I'm talking about phone, video chat. I literally talked to this person months and months and months at a time. We would actually see each other. We would talk, we would do these things. But the thing is, when I finally, like we finally met and everything, the top, yeah, y'all know the story. I'm not trying to be funny, but it was so horrifying. Like, it's like he was bald headed at the top. Like, you know how somebody is like, there's a circle at the top and they're bald. He was like bald headed at the time. And it wasn't a bad thing. Like men just lose hair, right? Hair is hair. You could go bald, like literally have nothing, you know. But the thing is, why would you not prepare people? Like when you hide and stuff like that, prepare people because you never know who you gonna, you never know who you go scare. Okay, I'm just saying, great tea. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. But the thing is, is that yes, catfishing is never cool, you guys. It's never, never cool um so please don't do that if you're catfishing somebody don't do it y'all but i feel like that episode really spoke to me because i've been through it like i've been through i've been catfished before so it's very horrible and um the guy not only did the guy have a bald head but he had like a limp and the crazy thing is is that if you can believe it or not the limp you cannot see somebody with a limp on video chat on instagram on messenger like you cannot see somebody walking with a limp i don't care what nobody say if you got like a little limp uh, what is it like walking with a like limping yeah with the limp you can't see a limp walker on um messenger and let me tell you something ain't nothing wrong with that either because it's a lot of men that walk like that baby that's carrying big packages that's fine i've seen guys that have been i've seen one other guy actually not guys but one other guy he was fine like and he had he was walking with a limp okay and he was fine as fuck okay so we i said all that to say this do y'all think that she was wrong <laughs> Y'all don't, 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 don't judge 
judge me, but I'm just saying, let's get to the drag. We're about to get to the drag. I'm sorry, y'all. I had a date that I was dating for a little minute and a month or so later, he took off his hat, ball spot with long hair on the sides and joker that's what happened to me and i was like the thing is i don't think it's really the things that like the people gotta understand it's not even really the insecurities that make a person mad it's the fact that you didn't say anything one of my pet peeves is is that like i don't think that i just get mad at a person for lying i get more mad because you didn't feel that you could trust me with telling me the truth. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, that's what makes me mad. Like, the lie makes me mad, but it's like, if I'm cool with you, you didn't trust me enough to tell you the truth. Or, I mean, you didn't trust me enough to tell me the truth. That's kind of what upsets me with the lie. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, let's get to the drag, y'all. So I just wanted to say that. Do y'all think she wrong for, like, not wanting to continue? Because she didn't expect the man not to have no teeth. And then when he would take pictures, it would be blurry. Like, it'll be like a shadow and... You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I had to tell y'all about that. Okay, so we're going to get into the drag because I do notice that Victoria said no. Okay, I agree too, Victoria. Let's go ahead and get into the drag. Um, So, going to catch a replay from here. Love y'all. Love you, Noelle. No, she's not wrong. Exactly. So, y'all, I really, my thing is, I y'all know people DM me all the time, right? And I just want to say respectfully, I don't care who get mad about what I say about Carlissa, Krishan, Blueface. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to keep saying it. Hey, V, sister. I'm going to keep saying it. Um, I don't care, okay? Carlissa is over there built like destruction and contraband, okay? I'm not trying to figure out why your baby daddy... You know, I, it's strange that your baby daddy is over there with croissant, ham, and cheese. That I, I just don't know. Like, I get, I get it. That's her father in law, whatever. But it's just like croissant, ham, egg, and cheese, and 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 daddy Jenna are very, very close. That's all I'm saying. And Carlissa over there built like a stripper without a pole. Okay. So y'all be one of y'all trolls be one to DM me like I'm y'all daddy. Okay. Meanwhile, y'all forgot to feed your mama in hospice because you over here in my business, all in my kitty cat. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to ever care. Like, I don't care how many times somebody even DM me the other day and said, oh, don't, hey, kids. Hey, Tony. Hey, y'all. Um, It's a lot of Tonys in here. God dang. It's a lot of Tonys today. Hey, True Beauty. How many Tonys we got in the chat? Goodness. So, y'all, let me tell y'all. So, y'all know people DM me all the time. If somebody DM me, DM me the other day talking about B, don't talk about Cardi B. I said, F you. I said, because Cardi B said F all y'all, so I'm going to say it too. Every time that these celebrities say F y'all, I'm going to do the same thing with y'all trolls. F y'all. You ain't mad at them, but you mad at me. I'm going to tell you, F you. Don't come in my DMs. Because what I got to show you when I answer my phone, you not going to want to see it. I promise you. Hey, Jasmine. Um, so, yeah, like I said, they over there can't bathe their mamas and grandmamas in hospice because they all in my kitty cat want to know what the flavor and the smell is, one of the lick and, and, and all of that. that. That's just what they want to do. Hey, Lori. They all in my chats, butch, butch watching my shows. Funky in the pink and the stink, okay? The back butt part, booty hole brown. It's smelling like the cooter brown in the front. Like, it's just a lot. And you helpers are disgraceful. Built like a shame and a hot, dirty dog crack fiend. That's how I feel about it. I do. I feel that's how I feel. Built like paraphernalia and a construction worker named Al. Okay. So you can get it just like Krishan, Miss Santifo, Mr. Santifo, Beluga, Jay. You can get it like they can too. I don't care. They're, I'm not humble no more. I'm not humble no more. I'm not humble no more. I don't care. There's no humbleness over here with Cutie TV. There's no kindness over here for trolls for, from Cutie TV. There's no more of none of it. I don't care. I literally don't care. Okay? I'm just letting that be known. Uh, and croissant, egg, ham, and cheese out here running with a football instead of running to turn herself in. <laughs> All right? Running around, knowing the good hygiene allegedly is not up to par. Hey, Jasmine. Hey, Quay. Hey, all my girls. Hey, Sharika. Hey, Joyce. Running around with a football. And, you know, the girl hygiene ain't up to par, allegedly. 
So we already know she's smelling like malt liquor and depression between the legs and under the arms. You know what I'm saying? Um, and Daddy Jenner, we we I, you know what? I really genuinely was thinking that Daddy Jenner was on his Miss Honey over there. I was thinking that I'm like he on his Miss Honey, but baby, no ma'am. Baby, Daddy Jenna got a whole woman over there. Child, they be having girls' night and painting nails and listening to Not Gonna Cry by Mary J. Blige. Girl, it's a thing. Hey, Kara. Hey, Yanni. Hey, Shell. What I said, Shell? Hey, Miss Harley. Hey, V. I know I said hey to V, but I seen V name right there. I'm like, let me say hey to V again. But, um, yes, yeah, so, you know, that's how I feel, y'all. So, anyway, you guys, let's go ahead and get started um, so y'all, croissant, ham, and cheese is still over there in Three Fingers' house, eating up his food, sleeping on his couches, inhaling his aroma. She's saying that, oh, he's coming to get her. He's under her bed at night. She said his name five times in his own mirror, in his own house, in his own bathroom. And I guess she up there just concocting some other story to let the people know that even though she's in his house, he's attacking her and he's bothering her, okay? Let me tell you, mind you, Three Finger needs to lead a girl alone, but at the same time, too, why are you in this man's house? I'm not going to continue to say Three Finger need to lead this girl alone when she's sitting her dumb tail in this house. That's my humble opinion, and I'm going to stick to it. That's stupid as hell. That's just how I feel. Now, Krishan is over there trying out for women's football, okay? And I'm like, sis, sign up for those 30 days in Oklahoma, okay? And get it over with. Because Sean, Krishan's showing Carlissa that she can be petty too. Because, baby, she is over there with Carlissa's baby daddy, honey. And, child, then they had the precious baby outside around random folks when she up here auditioning or whatever the hell she was doing. She's not going to leave. I know the more people say you need to go to your house, the more she's going to stay in Three Finger House. If she that bothered by Three Finger, then go to your That's right. I need an oxygen, Jane. Hey, Jane, Jamise. I like that name, Jamise. You can. Hey, girl, you can. I'm going to say you can. Cutie, the girlfriend broke up with the daddy today. And post. Girl, not they broke up. Girl, I wonder what was going on. Girl, baby, it's croissant, ham, egg, and cheese, girl. Now, and Daddy Blue couldn't be around me getting robbed every two minutes, allegedly, okay? And Daddy Jenna, you need to get all your grandchildren, okay? Because Beluga has three children, all right? But I do agree that Junior probably does need a little extra love because y'all already know how Beluga is with, you know, uh, with Baby Junior. He treats Baby Junior different, but at the same time, too, you know what I'm saying? I think it is a good thing that Daddy Jenner is over there, uh, you know, with the baby and everything because the mama is delusional and ain't got no damn sense. And the daddy is over there locked up and still not claiming the baby. So I do feel like it's good that he does show baby Junior extra attention and extra love and showers him with that. I do like that. However, it is very important and very um, mindful to, you know, remember that he does have three children. OK, um, he probably trying to bond with Junior because he has some time to bond with Blue other two kids. OK, I, I can get that, too. She probably tired of Krishan running around there half Nick child. Um, but y'all know Jaden gets mad when Beluga's family shows croissant, sausage, and cheese some love. Um, Jaden does get to the point to where she keeps the kids away from all of the colorets over there because I understand, yes, I understand her children are half black. I do understand her baby daddy is a black man. That means nothing. It's a lot of people. I've seen a woman on Oprah and she was a certain race and then her husband was black. I think she was like Indian or something. I'm not quite sure. And her husband was a, uh, African man and she was up there talking about she has fetishes about sleeping with slaves and her husband you know he uh he was like well wait a minute boo um you know what i'm saying like you that's messed up we married i'm thinking you love me but you got a fetish so good you just never know with people these days okay um, but yeah, Jaden gets to the point in time when they show Krishan Rock love or when they sit up there and they're in there with this, that, and the third with Krishan Rock. Jaden gets to the point in time where she don't want to be over there with the colorists. So then she go back to Mexicans. Eba, Eba, and don't call me uh, don't call me racist because my grandpappy, y'all know the story. My grandpappy is what? He what? Don't call me racist. All right. 
My grandpappy, everybody know who my grandpappy, what my grandpappy is, baby. He's a full-blooded Mexican. That's all I'm saying, all right? Now, um, but anyway, yeah, she wants to go over there and she want to get back to the Mexican side because she be sitting over there and, and, and you know, yeah. Um, but anyway, Carlissa is over there saying that she is done with Instagram, you guys. And Carlissa said that she is turning the page uh, to a Cali fan page. But my thing is, Carlissa, you nor Cali have any damn fans. Because who the hell are y'all folks? Because Beluga is in timeout and Krishan is applying for football. Not Krishan ain't planning for Junior's first birthday. She's not taking him to appointments, allegedly, or nothing, okay? Sis is over there, you know, doing football, okay? That's all, That's that. Um. So, anyway, then she told folks, Carlissa, if they want to support her, then attend her. No, not Carlissa. Krishan. Krishan ham, egg, and cheese. Uh, she said that if folks want to support her, then attend her games. Girl, attend your what? Now, who going to have Junior for practices and games, okay? Because Marsha's too busy doing nothing. And Janet done disappeared with K-Swab's brother. That's how you know K-Swab brother dick and Janet down, baby. And he's a cute. Let me tell y'all something. He young as hell, but K-Swab brother is sexy. And you can tell he dick and Janet down. Janet, I'm not even mad at you. I ain't even mad at you, girl. You better get it while they're getting it's good. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Get it, Janet. Uh, but anyway, people are alleging that croissant egg and cheese is buying subs, allegedly. Um, they said she went from 4.8 million back to 5 million. But again, shit, even 4.8 million is outstanding. That's still good, you know. <clears throat> I love you, cutie. Wait. Oh, uh, thank you. I love you too. Thank you. All the way from Baltimore. Wow. Thank you so much. I enjoy it. Thank you. I love you too, LaShawn. Um, Cutie, I don't understand why she putting everything on social media running from the law. Wait, wait a minute. On social media running from the, is she that slow? Her mom never raised those girls. She can't have no morals at all, cutie. I don't know. I have no clue. I don't know why she's Ubering because I, I thought she had a vehicle, but we don't know what's going on. You know, we never know. Hey, Felicia. Um, so yeah, uh, like I said, 4.8 million is still phenomenal. Okay. Um, Rock, where where are these mysterious fans coming from, sis? Okay, because you haven't even issued out any apologies to your fans that she cussed out and called them ragged, told them they broke, told them they're clicking the view, told them you don't care about them. Uh, I just feel like Krishan trying to at this point, maybe she just want to live a regular life. Maybe she felt like, let me cuss them out. Hold on, y'all, one second. So maybe she just wants to get to the point in time to where she is just not famous. Maybe she wants to live a regular life and do, do this. And maybe that's what it is. But unfortunately, baby, at this time, you're not able to do that. Okay. Hey, Latasha, how are you? Hello. Hello, Zanetta. Hello. Hi. Hi, Coco Chanel. Hello, everyone. So, um, hey, Winter Sis. I'm sorry to see Winter. Hey, Angela. Cutie, I watched the replay live yesterday. I had my headphones on. I laughed so hard. My grandkids thought I was losing it. You know how many people told me that? I'm so glad. Thank you so much, sweetheart. I'm glad you enjoyed the show. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, so, you guys, um, I would hope to, And let me see. You know, the crazy thing is I'm going to say this, and I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and um, do this. Finish my notes. My shows are amazingly funny. So, when I look at the shows and I actually... it's. I do go back to a lot of them. I don't do it as much as I used to. Um, but yesterday, I did get a chance to go back and listen to yesterday's show. And I was hollering. Do you hear me? I was hollering. And the crazy thing about watching my shows back now, because, you know, I have a concussion, so I forget stuff, right? I've had the concussion. And since then, I forget stuff. I'm sorry. For those of you who don't know. Who don't know yeah. Um, but when I, it's like when I watch my shows again i literally forget what i say and so when i'm watching i'm like yo i said that i'm like that's funny as hell so yeah i i really am glad that you guys do enjoy my shows i appreciate that so much um it's bad because my folks know when i'm watching cutie they be like you watching that cutie live ain't you because 
you're not paying us no mind. I'd be like, if you know, you know, leave me. Yes, if that's a good way to put it. If you know, you know, it's funny to you because you drop your ish off the dumb, the dumb quick. Yes, and so um, I actually get a lot of supporters that DM me and they're like, cutie, you said this and I holler. Cutie, you said that and I holler. And I love it. I think I love, it's not actually the jokes. I think I love the feeling that people get when they, um, when they when they when they watch this show so i'm i'm happy about that okay that's what makes me happy um so let me say this um so Krishan has not issued out any apologies to her fans so i'm trying to figure out where these mysterious fans are coming from okay i really would hope sis is not buying subs allegedly um sis is supposed to be on that football field over there okay um and my thing is this, and people might not like this when I say it, but of course I'm going to say it anyway. Um, she's over there missing. Uh, she's not missing any football practices, right? But the baby is missing appointments, allegedly. All right. Um, you're not over there. You know, I just feel like it's, it's just it's clear as day what her priorities are, in my opinion. Also, in my opinion, I feel like her priorities are definitely not junior. Not only are her priorities not junior, but the little five subscribers and supporters that she has are not on uh, their priority is not junior as well. OK. Um, but anyway, Carlissa is up here with these uh, artificial tears, you guys. And I'm going to play this audio from you for y'all. Um, Carlissa did cry. Um, I, I really don't know what to feel about it. And I'm going to say this because I kind of, uh, I don't know. Let me just pull this up and let y'all listen to this first. And then we're going to go ahead and give this commentary. Y'all are going to have to let me know. Um, I'm going to pull it up from Live Bites. Shout out to Live Bites. I love them. They've posted me several times on their platform. I love, love, love Live Bites. They are amazing. Okay. So let's go ahead and listen to this. Okay. And then we have a few audio videos to play, you guys. Oh, shit. Let me go ahead and I'm, I forgot to share the screen. So we're going to listen to this audio, you guys. Uh, and just let me know what y'all think. Okay. So let me know if it's genuine. She is talking about Blueface and this, that, and this. So, yeah. We sorry. Because I have done everything I can for him. I have done everything I can for him since before he went to jail. And some of you mothers have this going on. I was not privy to mental health. I know, I, I, it might look like we're doing some mental circus shit, but me and Blue is really just trying, really just trying to create generational wealth for this family because that's been a long time promised in our family because we did not have we had enough money to get Andre a lawyer, but not enough money to get him a lawyer that would have set him free because he did not deserve to be locked up in no cage for 13 years. But standing next to two men who decided to start pulling out guns and shoot at each other. So I... I... It's a we, we did... The best we could, Dre. Right? We honestly did. We gave up every dollar we had for you. Mm -hmm. We gave up every dollar. And no, you probably didn't deserve that. But I know you needed to sit down. But I know you didn't need to sit down that long. And it probably just disturbed your mental capacity. And all we could do right now is ask for you to just get help and forgive the system and forgive yourself. Cause there ain't nothing we can do about it at this time. The only thing we can do is try to get financial gain so that it don't happen to your nieces or your nephews. And that's all we can do right now. I'm truly sorry. So um, before we get into this next clip, I will say this. I'm a mother, so I'm going to speak on the benefit of a mother. I do get it. Um, I don't I, I don't I don't want to comment on if I think Carlis is being real or not about that. I'm not going to comment on it. All I can say is that I can sympathize with situations like that. Nobody really knows about, you know, 
situations like that if you've never been through it and i i've definitely learned that in life you know what i'm saying don't judge a situation if you've never been through it if you don't know about it i've def that's one of the number one things i've learned in my life um you know um and i believe some of the stuff of what carlissa said okay and she is i guess some some parts are genuine uh she's showing remorse allegedly because you never know with carlissa um so I, I sympathize with that in 13 years. Wow. 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 That is bananas, y'all. Um, that's bananas to be sitting there for 13 years for something that you definitely did not do. Um, so I, I get it. I get it. Um, was it genuine or not? I, I don't, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. So anyway, you guys, uh, now WAC 100 had a little say, a little to say about Beluga and Dre and et cetera. And I'm pretty sure um, not a lot of us have heard this. I didn't. But if you guys have heard it, then uh, if you're on a replay, then just kind of scroll up. But I want you guys to hear this again. This is again from Live Bites. Shout out to Live Bites. Amazing content creator. So let's go ahead and do this. That's it. Just to let her know she flipped off, started hollering and screaming. Maybe that's a mob. I don't know. Maybe he was there when she started hollering and screaming, but all I told is he had a little fight, a little scuffle. That's it. We all know Blueface know how to fight, right? S and fight. County jail, it happens, right? Um, other than that, just letting the fans know Blue, all right. I'm hearing from the mother that Dre allegedly is having a nervous breakdown. She's sending me text messages between her and Dre's wife saying they talking to counselors, they're getting committed and shit like this. And I guess he's saying things I don't know. That's for them to deal with. But I'm letting y'all know the fans know Blueface all right. All right. Uh, spread the word. Blue's right. He ain't been stabbed up. He ain't been none of this shit I'm hearing. He's saying people making attempts on his life and all kind of shit. Blue is in high power where the celebrities go. LA County Jail. All right. I got eyes on him. Shout out to my homeboy, Mon Deuce from Devil Lanes. You know, the Damu card. Got eyes on him through my politics and, you know, the other side of with him to to vote in in them politics so we good i keep getting people telling me that the uh, blue face brother is somebody saying he's been stabbed up so this is the thing okay it seems like a situation to where like wax said power of attorney is certain things that beluga can do is certain things that he can't do whatever um i said daddy you so funny she made she so Okay, I was reading the chat. Sorry. Um, you know, now I'm gonna say this. Even WAC 100 admitted that you know Beluga did talk to Rock, and let's also say too, y'all, we've seen Beluga fight. I ain't, I don't, I'm not even fond of Beluga, but y'all know damn well I ain't no hater. We've seen Beluga fight, and yes, Beluga can fight. Let's just he can fight. We've seen Beluga fight. Um, so Carlissa, that debacles your lie from yesterday though, because you was over there saying that Krishan was over there lying about talking to Beluga and you bought your ass up here and lied. So you a bold faced liar about fat. Um, and I don't want to hear Krishan Rock fans saying, see, she always lying on Krishan. Cause Rock lies her tail off too. Rock lied too. She even admitted to coming up here lying on Beluga. So both of them, both of them lie. I ain't about to sit up here and, and, and X mark the spot with neither one of them because they both lie their ass off. I'm just saying. Um, but anyway, y'all, Carlissa has more chatter uh to chat about. So I'm it's it's a few, it's a few of these that I am going to let y'all listen to you guys. Um, that Carlissa just has been chatting about and just blah 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 blah. Um, hold on, y'all. Hold on, let me wait a minute, y'all. Hold on one second. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, here we go. I gotta just scroll down and find a video. Okay, you guys. So let me scroll down a little trying to see it's somewhere on here where's that video i think this is it this is something of the live that we did not hear i want to discuss it so here we go on no female on no woman unless you oh yeah john not about to put his hands on no female on no woman unless you hit him to the point where he have to we all watch that y'all gonna play dumb to kingdom come that we watched Brock damn near beat his ass on the street corner before he returned party. fire. We gon' we gon' find out. We gon' we gon' find out. Cause John got some females he done dealt with for a long time that ain't never put their hands on him them, and he ain't never put their hands on them. 
You got some women out here that love the man more than they love they self. They just swing on a man until he have to defend himself. Why would you do that? He ain't tell now one of y'all he want to be with y'all. If we go Google right now, did John say he want to be with Krishan? It's going to pop up from day one that he said no. It's going to pop up that he told Jaden, I'm not ready to be serious ever since he was 16 years old. I like you a lot, but I'm not ready to be serious. So when a man tell y'all that, when a man tell y'all that, take that with a grain of salt. He don't, he don't like you like that. He's not ready for that. He may not be ready for that. Hell, his daddy ain't even ready for that. My husband said he wasn't ready. He knew he wasn't ready till he was almost 40. Some men just ain't ready. That's what it is. You have to respect that. You can't beat him up to do it. You can't punch him to do it. You can't get mad at him to do it. You can't make no man be ready until he ready. John not about to put his hands on no feet. So anyway, um, now Carly is a little thrown off in my opinion, but some of the stuff she says is the truth. Uh, but we're not gonna sit up here and act like Krishan the only one putting hands on the boy because the boy been putting hands on her allegedly too. Hey, Key sister. Hey, Keys. Um, you know, if Blue wanted to uh rock on a serious level, then he would have at least told her that he loved her like he did publicly for Jade and Alexis while he was locked up. Okay. Um, he did call Krishan his wife, but I mean, when you're trying to get some Tussa Cat or you're trying to get videos and you're trying to do this, that, and the third, and Krishan is literally the only one that really has access to you, then yeah, I believe that's what it is. He probably would. You know, you never know. Um, but Carlissa, in my opinion, um... I don't know, y'all. She's just a little thrilled. Now, I believe that not only does Dre need help, but so does Carlissa, in my opinion, okay? Because you never know what she went through when her child was locked up. That's just how I feel. Um, however, I do believe that she is still a snake in the grass as well. Again, that's my opinion. There's a lot going on with this woman's children, allegedly, and the fact is that Carlissa shouldn't uh, be over there speaking on anyone else's parenting when hers is just as bad, if or if not worse, in my opinion, okay? Um, she is even over there getting into it with her stepdaughter, you guys. Um, let me let y'all listen to this video of her stepdaughter speaking on her, y'all. Um, so hold on, you guys. I'm going to pull it up. I think it's on here. Is this the right? Hold on, y'all. Let me choose. Let me go to the right account. Um, but yeah, her stepdaughter was online speaking about her as well. Let me see, you guys. This is it. This is Carlissa. Yeah, screen record this and send it to Carlissa. Now, let me let y'all listen to this. This is the stepdaughter. Yeah, screen record this and send it to Carlissa. Girl, Carlissa said that you were a fan. She said you started off as a fan. I'm like, and I was the one who told her. I did tell her. I was like, I don't know if you could trust her if she started off as a fan. I said it. And then she was just like, oh. She said, yeah, I got to keep my eye on her. This is in the beginning when we first got you on. And that's true. Everybody should keep an eye on people that we don't know. You know what I'm saying? And then I started liking you. I was like, no, she. I'm just be fed up. Like, y'all just be so fucking irritating out there. When I mind my business. When I mind my business, y'all want to come for me. I don't do shit, but be here taking care of my kid. I go to church when I'm supposed to. I go to church three times a week. I work. I got three different jobs. Y'all know I do hair. <clears throat> and I work at Nordstrom. When I first started working at Nordstrom, she going to say... Lady need to be here to do the show. Don't nobody give a fuck you work at Nordstrom. That's what she said. Like, goddamn, can I get a congratulations, bitch? Shit. Thank you. Say, 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 congratulations for starting your new job, your new career. Making more money than I ever made. I'm like, damn. Can I get a congratulations? I ain't even. I probably ain't even get a congratulations when I graduated college. Okay, 
And Brie, I'm not saying that you're a bad person. I just, I'm not there to, I'm not there to know what y'all. So anyway, that's that with that. I kind of get bored easily, and that definitely is something that's boring. Hey, Amaris Dixis. She just worked at the church because, dang, how you have three jobs in church three days, you might be a child. But she actually a cute girl. But the thing is, this is my thing, too. Like, with the husband, I understand Carlissa grown and your daughter grown. But I, my thing is, if I was with somebody, you're not going to talk to my kids, stupid. My kids ain't going to talk to you, stupid, because I'm going to say, look, you need to stop. I'm going to tell my kids, my kids know not to talk to certain adults like that. Like, if adults make you uncomfortable, they make you uncomfortable. Get away from them. But at the same time, I'm not going to let nobody talk to my kids, stupid. Like, bitch, I know we together, whatever the situation may be. But you're not going to talk to my kids crazy. That's just bottom line. I will really get disrespectful behind my children. I will call you out your name. I don't care. And that's not the mature thing to do. But I'm the type of person, when it comes to my kids, I go blank. Like, there's nothing nobody can tell me about them. Like, I go super dumb and super ham behind mine. Um, that's just me. Um, so, anyway, you guys, hold on, y'all. Thank you. Um, Carlissa gets into it with everybody around her, in my opinion, but the stepdaughter is saying that she allegedly makes more than Carlissa and Carlissa claims she is hurt by the, you know, the back and forth between her and her stepdaughter. Okay. And child, I don't believe it because she barely care about her own children, in my opinion, except for Beluga. Uh, but anyway, Carlissa and the Beluga family are speaking on Dre again. You guys, they're speaking on him lying about everything with Beluga and what's, what was going on with Beluga and what is going on with Beluga. Um, which folks with common sense already know that Dre was lying. Anyway, you can look at Dre and tell that Dre is thrown off. Like, that's my opinion. I just feel like Dre is thrown off. Like, and it's not Dre's fault. It's hard to be living with, you know, mental issues or it's hard to be living with certain things. Like, you know, so I'm not judging him. It's not his fault that he went through that. But it's just like at the end of the day, you can look at him and you can tell that he is just not all the way um the elevator is just not hitting the top floor. You understand what I'm saying? So that's all I'm saying with that. I'm not trying to be petty or anything like that. I'm just saying you could tell he's throw. Hey, Kleisha. Girl, they lost so much they believe. It. Exactly. You, yeah, you see the back of Dre head. He ain't had a no tummy time as a baby. True. I'm not even about the true beauty. I'm not about to play with you. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it in front of company. <laughs> Who child? Baby. But, um... You know what I'm saying? They're saying, uh, you know, I just feel like that child needs to get what he needs to get his help because he clearly has to get checked upstairs. That's all I'm saying. You get what I'm saying? Like he needs to get checked upstairs. This whole entire family, um, I think with the internet now, people have really made the internet a bad place, right? People have made the internet a very disgusting and bad place and they make it a place to where you can literally see like individuals that have issues upstairs, right? And the thing about that is, and I'm gonna just say this as humbly as I can, who am I to judge? Everybody has had things going on in their life, da 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 but I just feel as if um, at the end of the day, it needs to be a point in time where you, you're just like, you know what, let me go ahead and get myself together and work on myself. I think people that have issues that may be upstairs, I think that they are logical enough to be like, you know what, I need to get this. I need to be able to da da da, you know, or whatever. Even when I had my child and that, you know, I had that experience and everything like, it was to the point where I was like, okay, I know this is what needs to be done. You know what I'm saying? So people that have those type of things, you don't ever want to judge them. But again, like I said before, Dre does have issues that I feel need to be tended to. And again, sitting in confinement for those amount of years is very, very hard um, for anybody, okay? Let alone people that are spending life or whatever the situation may be. It's a very hard situation, but I think that he needs to stay off of this internet. I do feel like it's a lot of people that don't need to have access to the internet. And I'm gonna just be honest with y'all. I believe that this family, Beluga and his family, these are individuals, in my opinion, that do not need to have access to the internet. I'm just keeping it a book. These individuals do not need to have access to the internet. Um, a lot of things that you see on the internet are just literally not reality. Okay, let's just be real. It's not reality. 
All right. I tell everybody all the time, believe nothing you see on the damn Internet. I don't believe none of these people. Yeah, them people you see on the on the screen from starting from the left croissant, ham, egg and cheese, sausage, biscuit. All right. They'll croissant. You I can't you can't believe her because one minute she up here crying, holding the Bible upside down, trying to give us a Bible study with a children's Bible. And then the next day she's up here in the club, bottle full of blood. My mind got what you need. If you need sex, I ain't even make love. Come give me a hug. Yeah, that's I mean, that's what it is. So I don't believe a damn thing. None of these people say do i believe that whack 100 would do something to her yes and no i don't believe them because they lie so much that's just my opinion hell i don't even need to believe Jaden and Jaden over there literally minded her own business and tended to her own business you know what i'm saying so i mean i don't believe nobody or nothing on the internet even celebrity stories you don't know what the hell is really reality I've been that type. I've been in so many situations in my life and people that's been in the first sector where I was at. No, well, motherfuckers genuinely was just downright lying on me. Just stupid shit. That's what, and I'm glad I went through every experience I went through in my entire life. You know why? Because it made me a wiser person now. And I'd be like, bitch, bye. So I don't believe shit I see on the internet because people lie so good. People doctor up shit. You can't believe what you see on the internet. That's why when I see stuff with Krishan, Blueface, if I see documentation, if it comes off a of certain people uh, uh, channel, like if I go to Voodoo stuff, I'm going to believe what Voodoo uh, say because Voodoo ain't going to put up nothing fake over here. You know what I'm saying? I don't really too much dibble and dabble with other content creators or on YouTube or watch what they, you know, watching um i don't really watch too many content creators like i used to i think i i think i catch voodoo um a few times but other than that when i'm on youtube I tr I'm, I'm literally just getting content thank you Kleisha. thank you for the super chat my beautiful sister um but i'm simply up here just you know i'm i'm just kind of you know trying to watch youtube um youtube is my job um but i really don't well youtube ain't my job google is my job because we work for google assets right but um when i'm off of this when i'm off this platform i really don't be worried about what these people doing if i'm not taking notes i don't give a damn um and that's just dead with that uh i watch yes 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 but y'all let me tell y'all something too and i know a lot of people gonna be like cutie what i got to say something about this as well we're gonna get back to this tea but i gotta kind of i gotta kind of update y'all on this other tea okay because this is really 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 damn messy and i have to y'all i'm gonna do videos on this today um but you guys know we're not going to get into a play by play because you guys pretty much know what's going on and da, 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 da. but i will say this you guys i want to say um uh, the situation with nene leaks and with um with nene leaks and with uh what is what is the uh Portia. Now we all know what's going on. Go look on my videos if you guys are not really up to par with it. But Nene Leaks and Portia are at odds, right? And a lot of people feel like um after Portia did Nene allegedly the way she did Nene, where she snaked Nene and this, that, and the third, a lot of people do feel like um the only thing that Nene owes Portia is an ass whooping, right? maybe so i'm not quite sure why portia did what she did if she allegedly did what she did or whatever but this shit is very messy and i wanted to speak on it now as you can see this is nene leaks and her little side thing and this is simon and his little friend my thing with everything is this simon you can tell mrs portia let's just keep it a hundred yes he's flaunting another woman yes he's moved on simon is old as hell but he looks good as hell simon looks good as fuck simon is cute it ain't even a damn money bitch if i was to see simon in africa with them little african skirts and shit bitch yes i would let him give me back shots while he raised his little african skirt up because simon is a fine old man okay all i'm saying is this nene you didn't have to take your ass up there and you didn't have to entertain the bullshit with simon and that gal over there because at the end of the day you had no damn business trying to be petty now if you feel like portia did this and did that let it have been that i would have said you know what the karma will come that's one thing about karma it's gonna always spin the goddamn block i've seen so many people that have treated me like shit. And when I literally go back and see their karma, I'm like, damn, 
karma whooping the hell out of you. So I'm a firm believer in karma spinning the block. Cutie, what are you looking at? No, Simon is a cute man. So I really think Simon is a cute older man. He really is. He looks really nice. And y'all know me. I like older men. So Lon is going to girl for real. He is. But I just feel like it was really, really messy for Nene to even indulge in, 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 in stuff like this. Like, I think it was really messy. Um, now, I see people in the chat saying that they don't know what's going on with Portia and Nene. So we're going to go back and kind of. Let me show y'all something. I'm going to go back and kind of let y'all listen to what's going on. So y'all kind y'all kind of can be up to par. Because like I said, I do feel like it was very messy for Nene to come up here with this. I really, really feel like that. Um, but yeah, you know, it is what it is, y'all. So let's go ahead and get started. And then we're going to go back to Barty too. Because I'm going to be honest with y'all. Cardi B has been getting on my damn nerves. She really, really has. She's been getting on my damn nurse and Cardi B is beginning to be annoying as hell in my opinion. I'm just really sick of her damn mouth. And I and I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be mean, I'm not trying to be petty. Cardi B is a beautiful woman. She's very pretty. That surgery she got has done her amazing. She is gorgeous, okay? But the bitch talk too fucking much for me. She get out get out. she does too much. So, let's get into it with Nene, then we're going to get into this with uh Cardi B. A disappointing video, but nonetheless, here goes. So earlier this week, I was told by my management company that um, the Netflix scripted series called The Upshaws were interested in casting me for a part. Uh, in Upshaws, it's Mike Epps and Wanda Sykes. Um, directing this particular episode is Kim Fields. Um, I was excited to do it. It's a comedy. I love comedy. I used to have a comedy show out on the road. Some of you guys know. So comedy is something I love to do and, and was really happy to do it. Uh, as the talks went on, we agreed upon whatever we agreed upon. Um, I was fly out to I was to fly out to LA on Tuesday. Uh, they told me that Portia William Gubadia was also playing in this particular series. She would be side by side with me. Excited. I haven't seen Portia. Uh, we always have a good laugh when we see each other. So I was just like, okay, so me and Portia are going to kill this part. I get to um, uh, LA on Tuesday. They tell me to go straight to, you know, to the studios. I need to go into wardrobe. Uh, once I got into wardrobe, um, I chosen to wear like this silver color. Uh, they showed me a picture of Portia. They said the Portia's wearing something similar in color and uh, maybe I would choose something else because we were gonna be, you know, side by side doing this scene, no problem. Um, I gave them a whole different look. Um, they told me we were gonna be having rehearsal. Um, at rehearsal, I didn't see Portia. There was a stand-in. Uh, we broke for lunch. We came back. We were going to do a whole run-through. I still didn't see Portia. Uh, I'm just waiting to see Portia, right? I'm excited to see Portia. I'm like, well, I want to, you know, make that Portia on set. So me and her can chop it up. So Portia never came. Uh, we wrapped for the evening. I went back to my hotel. When I got to my hotel, production called me and asked me if I had any issues with any housewives because they were going to be casting, recasting the other position. And I was like, oh my God, no, like what? And um, they were going to recast the position that Portia was playing. I was like, what? Why? And they said, do you have any issues with Kim Zosiak, Cynthia Bailey, Marlo Hampton? And I was like, no, like I just saw Kim recently and we talked. Um, I saw, I, I talked to Cynthia Bailey often. I talked to Marlo Hampton often. Um, no, like they ultimately cast Cynthia Bailey and she was flown out to LA on Wednesday. We did the uh, part together. Um, I was later told that Portia did not show up to work and had said that she did not want to work with me, yeah. that we had had uh, issues from the past and she did not want to work with me. Mm. Let me take that in for a second. Listen, mm. Mm -mm -mm. I am more than disappointed. Mm. Portia and I 
have double dated a few times, okay? Mm. Um, um. Okay. Simon had a birthday. We were all in Miami together. We hung out for the whole weekend to celebrate Simon's birthday. We all decided one weekend to go to Vegas to see Usher. We all went to Vegas to see Usher, couples. Um, I was in Dubai, Portia and Simon were in Dubai. We all hung out. Uh, Yanni and I have gone to Simon and Portia's home to have to hang out, party, drink. My son came over, brought hookahs. We ate African food, had a great time. Of course, Portia had a wedding and I'm at her wedding. Um, I've seen Portia in Atlanta out. We've laughed and talked. I am shocked that Portia would go to a production company. I am shocked to hear that Portia would go to a production company and say that she doesn't want to work with me because we've had a lot of issues in the past. What lots of issues that we had in the past. Mind you guys, I haven't been a housewife in over four and a half years, okay? Besides that, as black women, okay, when you call a black woman angry, difficult, We've got problems. I can't work with them on set. That is a death trap for a black woman in the industry. We don't have any issues that we can't work together. We are professionals. We get on set and we work together and do what we got to do. Your issues in the past, if you had to pick a housewife, it certainly wouldn't be with me. It would have been with Kenya. It would have been with Candy. Those were your major issues. We've had petty things. We're on a reality show. So we obviously are going to have some sort of issues, but we've not had anything where we could not work together. I'm sad and disappointed that Portia would go to any company and say mm -hmm. that she's had issues with me and we cannot work together. That is a lie. I text her. So it's not like I'm doing this video. I didn't text her. I text her and she sent me a text back saying that she's going through her divorce and I didn't reach out to little sis. Are you serious? You and your husband were just happy and smiling in Dubai. I thought you guys were having a fight and maybe you guys are gonna get back together. I don't know what y'all personal business are. I don't wanna be nosy, okay? I don't wanna invade your privacy. Maybe you need some time. I don't know what you need. I was happy to see her and talk to her and chop it up then. I don't wanna pry. Yes, Yanni and Simon are hanging out together, but that has nothing to do with me. I'm not hanging out with Simon. Yanni's hanging out with Simon. I can't change this relationship with that man. I wouldn't let him change my relationship with Portia. It's disappointing. It's very disappointing that you would do that. It's very disappointing, and people need to stop. They need to stop doing that. That's not right. When Portia and I were on Housewives. All right, so this is what I think about the situation, you guys. Um, I feel like at the end of the day, I don't really know what happened again. I don't believe what people come up here and say. Um, I was not there. Um, if this situation is allegedly true, I will say this, okay? I feel as if um, Portia was wrong, okay? Because if you had such a problem with Nene, then you should have literally just told Nene. Um, I feel like if that be the case, let Nene, you know, I guess it is what it is with the job. Me personally, I wouldn't have said a damn thing because when it comes down to money, who gives a damn about what the next bitch say? You're going to get your coin and you're going to let it be that with that. OK, that's just how I humbly feel about it. All right. Um. I really feel as if people really need to just make their money and just go about their day, just go about their business. I would have never said nothing to Portia. I would have never said nothing about Portia. I would have never even brought it up. I'm like, bitch, I see you. I don't want you to know I see you, even though I know you see, I see you. And that's that. At the end of the day, it takes too much damn energy to come on here making a video telling Portia what she pretty much already know. You know that the bitch, that's one thing about people. A lot of people are so dirty they will not like you and be jealous of you and you not knowing the whole time all right so that's that with that and um i feel like the situation with um 
Exactly, because I would have still got my check and been the best actress ever. I bet you she runs with. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's the problem with a lot of um women. Women will rather sit up here and be catty and shit and spend their time trying to downplay the next one, this and that. It, when it comes down to tunnel vision, if you a grown ass woman and you are really women that's really about making money, bitch, you're not over here entertaining stupid shit. You get what I'm saying? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be looking at you like okay, bitch, it is what it is, and I'm not even gonna dislike you, bitch. I'm going to get to my money. There's nothing gonna come before that, but God Himself. Um, now the thing with Cardi B, I'm not gonna stay on Cardi B too long because Cardi B does agitate the hell out of me. She talks too damn much, but I feel like Cardi B gets quiet when she's under offset and she sits over there for weeks and weeks and weeks at a time and she's quiet. But then when offset go back into the streets allegedly and do what he does, she wants to come back up here and she wanna get the talk taking her anger out on everybody else. Um, she wanna get to taking her anger out on Nicki Minaj, Bia, and whoever else rap girl that's coming out that's bigger than her, whatever the case may be. Cardi B is this is my humble opinion about Cardi B. I feel that Cardi B really needs to shut her mouth more. And if you're gonna sit up there and you're gonna show your body and stuff, because she made good money and she did a good job. Whoever did her body, they did a great job on her. Maybe just shut up more and just work more. I mean, shut up, stop, do less talking and more work. Because at the end of the day, you've sat up here and you drop, you've released a few songs. The first one that you released was five. Um, the second one you just released was not good. So I would be focused on my career. I would be focused on, even if you got to come up here taking pictures and shit, do your little influencer stuff. But the fact that you keep coming up here talking about your ops and I'm going to show receipts, girl, you've been talking about receipts for years. Nobody cares. That's just my humble opinion. If anybody watching Cardi B and anybody watch me now, because like I told y'all the other day, somebody said, B, don't say nothing else about Cardi B. Shut the hell up if you in the chat and you in the bushes and you, you mad at me about this. I don't give a damn. Take that up with God. Take it up with your mama. It ain't got nothing to do with me. I ain't talked to my supporters though. But like I said before, um, it's just it's just stupid. It comes to a point in time. Some stuff, yes, you do have to dress. Some stuff you do have to dress. And maybe sometime you do need to come online and address certain shit. But at the end of the day, baby, look, I know one goddamn thing. My iron is too damn low. You hear me? Uh-uh. At first, I thought her body looked like a big, a big booth end, but I think it's grown. And you know what? She cause she allegedly got more work done too. But like I said, Cardi B got so much stuff going for her that she really just need to learn how to just shut up. Like just just be quiet and just let bygones be by. You know, yeah, let that be that, baby. You don't have to always come up here proving your point. And then she's over here. People are like, oh, Cardi B got the best album, uh, Bodak Yellow. Don't I don't want to hear about Bodak Yellow, a yellow Bodak, a damn again nobody don't want to hear about that damn girl album that she did years ago don't nobody want to damn hear about that i don't want to hear about it she got songs on there that people done played out and and, and they not just you know what i'm saying it's played out we never heard that ass that ass that girl performed it at every show for the last 10 years i ain't trying to hear that no more if she's not coming back with new music she need to go set her ass down Cause ain't nobody trying to hear that. Then the music she do got up here sounding the same. They said, oh, Cardi B was scared to drop, bitch. I see why you were scared to drop and you should have stayed scared. Because like I said, the first song where you used Timberland and Missy's beat, that was fine. But this second one that you set up here and you, and you put out, I don't like it. And it's a lot of people that were saying they don't like it. I don't care what bloggers you see. I don't care how many celebrities be paying these bloggers to post them. When you go over there and you look in them bloggers' comments that post them same celebrities that they get paid to post because these bloggers are getting paid to post these celebrities. Let's be real. They're getting paid to post these celebrities, especially the ones that are irrelevant that nobody really pays attention to. These bloggers are getting paid to post these people. But go back over there and look in them same people's comments and... um. You will see what the people really think, okay? And these are regular people. Hey, no else, sister. So I'm just saying that with that. We get to the point where, baby, we get tired of Cardi B and everything. And I feel like that, even with Nikki, Nikki gonna always be mother. She gonna always be queen. But even the situation with Nikki where she got, um, and she was doing all this beef with Cardi B, baby, that kind of even made her career do a little thing because she already had this stuff going on with her husband. The people got mad about it. I don't know. It is what it is, child. I'm not her husband. I'm not her man, child. I don't know. But at the end of the day, all this beef and stuff, it gets to the point in time where it makes it overshadow your career and people just have a bad taste in their mouth behind all of this. So it gets old. People get tired of seeing it. Anyway, 
So this is a video of Megan Good and her uh, boo, Jonathan Majors. And she, Megan is basically, they, I guess they said something about, you know, Megan Good and uh, Jonathan had an awkward red carpet kiss. Let me tell y'all something. First of all, this is an unpopular opinion, but I actually think Jonathan Majors is an attractive man. He really is. He's an attractive man. He has a nice face. He's, he's physically fit. Um, and he just looks like he is, he's, to me, he's just an attractive man. Um, but I'm not going to lie. A lot of the accusations that I see about this man, it does seem like somebody blackballed the hell out of this man. Um, and again, I'm not going to sit up here and act like it's not common for a lot of men to not a lot, some men to be physically aggressive towards women. I'm not going to lie about that. We have seen real actual situations, but I know when it comes to these celebrities, I kind of tread lightly on what I choose to believe and what I choose not to believe. Because again, you will never know the truth when it comes to these celebrities. Okay. People say all type of shit. I don't feel like it was an awkward kiss. I just feel like they were trying to take a picture. She was trying to kiss him. He was trying to sit down or get to wherever he was trying to get to. So I do not believe that it was an awkward kiss, okay? Um, but I mean, you know, I just, I don't know, y'all. I feel like, I don't feel like it was awkward. But you know, social media does they social media can be a little extra and y'all know we are living in cancel culture so a lot of these celebrities can get canceled in the drop of a dime um other celebrities you know they get pass after pass after pass so that's that with that but um people definitely get things uh taken you know i child look let's go to the next story now baby I'm going to just say this. Now, Vivica, I'm going to say this about Vivica, okay? Vivica, I don't know if she was getting, maybe Vivica just got a little weight on her. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe Vivica just got a little weight on her. She got a little rump, a, a little rump shaker, okay? Vivica got her a little rump shaker. Maybe she got a little work done, allegedly. We don't know. I think when you back up off Vivica and Vivica has that makeup and stuff, you can't really tell Vivica age. Like, right here, Vivica looks good. But it's like when you showing Vivica on, 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 on you know, uh, video and stuff, you can really see, like, the real, okay? But like I say, when she's on photo shoots and stuff, Vivica is very, very pretty. But I feel like with this dress right here, it's giving very much Patti LaBelle, if only you knew. Or it's giving very much Patti LaBelle, like, in the back of the days. Remember when Patti had those little hairstyles? Let me put it up here. I'm going to tell y'all what it's giving. I'm going to tell y'all what it's giving, child. Let me show y'all Patti LaBelle back in the 80s, okay? that The style of dress that that dress is, it's giving very much Patti LaBelle in the 80s, all right? So let's do Patti LaBelle in the 80s. Um, this is what it's giving. Now, I love me some Patti. Let's not, we're not, we're not gonna, we ain't gonna get too hard on Patti because y'all know I love me some Patti. But the outfit that Vivica has is giving very much, let me, let me, let me, let me just do this. Do y'all see Patty up here? I love me some Patty, okay? My favorite song is uh If Only You Knew Patty. If only you knew go Patty be tearing it down. Come on, Patty, tear it down, baby. Don't play with Miss Patty. But baby, Vivica's outfit that she wore, it was given very much Patty in the 80s. This is what it was given. I'm just telling my humble opinion. If you don't like it, I understand. But I just feel like Vivica is 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 to the point. Vivica is getting to that point of where Patty was in the 80s. All right. Now, Patty is still mother. Patty is still queen. Patty going to always be queen. Patty going to always be mother. But Vivica, all I'm going to say is, baby, is giving very much uh, uh, still Magnolias. It's giving very much... Uh, in a few years, I'm going to have to figure out, you know, if I if I can walk around with, you know, my little diaper on and stuff like that. And that's okay. That's okay. Look. But Vivica, you know, she look good. Now, they say Vivica's 60 years old. Vivica, Vivica looks good. But, but Vivica do look 60. She do look like she's 60 years old. So ain't nothing wrong with it. Because at the end of the day, Vivica's still sexy. Um, So hold on. Let me scroll. Let me put this up. 
And we're going we gonna, to, I'm going to kind of cover this up because y'all know I'll be having a tussy cat and everything on my timelines, baby. So I'm going to have to, when I scroll on Instagram and all this, baby, I can't scroll on my channel because, baby, look, y'all know people like to report and shit. They got some snitches. These hoes be snitching. Um, So let me cover this up because I ain't trying to get no strikes and then I just got my damn strike off of them. My page ain't got no strikes and I want to leave it like that, okay? Um, but it was another story that I do have that I wanted to talk about as well. Now, I don't know if y'all saw this story with uh, Halle Bailey and DDG. Um, it says that I guess DDG, um, he gave Halle an award show um, and she did get emotional with the award show. Now, you guys know that Halle did just have DDG's baby and that's mighty fine. I think that I did see a glimpse of the baby. I don't know why they still covering up because the baby's face was leaked. That baby looked just like Halle, okay? Um, but the thing is, is that he decided to do her a little award show and then Halle started crying, okay? And I just think that Halle is such a sweet soul. I don't know what it is about Halle, but Halle is just a sweet girl. And she is such, she's so kind hearted, you know? Um, but I feel like maybe she needs to go ahead and she needs to kind of maybe um, check and see if um, she could probably get a little help for postpartum because you know when you have postpartum baby you don't realize it you don't recognize it baby and it comes up and you just you just you don't know okay a lot of these women that have postpartum whatever these women have they just don't know it because they've never had it so they're not able to recognize it right um but i believe that hallie is i don't know y'all i think she does have some insecurities about things that happen between her and ddg uh, with the Ruby Rose, Ruby Red, whatever, what the girl name is, child, whatever her name is. Uh, so, you know, there is a little bit of this and that and the third going on between her and DDG. DDG, in my opinion, I'm sorry, y'all got the hiccups. But let me tell y'all about somebody that's really been cutting up in these streets, baby. When I tell y'all, sister girl, it's really up here, baby. She is eating her ham and her cabbage, baby. Oh, yes, ma'am. Girl, Sierra, Sierra, Sierra ass is thick as hell. Baby, the best thing that Sierra could have did was left Future and got with Russell. Baby, let me tell you something. Them men that they say that are geeks and stuff, them niggas be the ones that really know how to rustle and tussle between them sheets with these gals. I'm just saying, now they was up there looking at Russell like he was a porn Dexter. And then y'all know before Russell actually was with a Caucasian woman. Um, but baby, let me tell y'all something, girl. CC is girl, no surgeon on that girl that got sick as hell. Do you hear me? Girl, Sierra is fine as hell. And then y'all already know she was skinny at first, but then when somebody's skinny, they put their weight on them. I love that for skinny women because they get their weight on them, girl. They be fine as hell. Um, my mom said another baby. I said, why not? She said she married, he got bank, and she do too. Hell, have 10 if you want. I know that's right. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Then that's her husband, too. So, you know, that's that with that. But I do feel like, um, I feel like Sierra is really doing it. Like Sierra is looking amazing, uh, out here in these celebrity streets, baby. Sierra is looking very thick, thighs is thighing. Sierra is fine as hell. Come on, Sierra, cause bitch, she is doing it. You gotta give it to her. this girl. Is thick as ooh, thick as hell. Now we gonna go and look at girl. Look at CC, baby. She got them clappers out, girl. Baby, Sierra is not playing no games with the girls. And girl, look at Russell. Russell, girl, look at Russell. Baby, Russell know what he got. Baby, Russell know what he got, baby. Girl, look at Russell with his shades, girl, with the little lemon pepper staples. Come on, Russ. Come on, Russ. You better step with them white shoes. Them shoes probably touching all the way to the tip of them shoes. But come on, Russ. Baby, Russ is going to step, baby. Come on, uh, Russ. Yes. And that daughter, ooh, that daughter look just like Russell, baby. Come on, CC. Ooh, girl, don't hurt the girls. Jesus. This girl is fine as hell. Come on, Sierra. I don't know what nobody else feel, but baby, I love this weight on CC, baby. She looks phenomenal. 
Baby, sis is eating her rice in her cabbage, baby. Eat that rice in that cabbage. One thing I love about a woman is thickness, bitch. I'm talking about thickness, girl. Girl, them titties is sitting up full of milk. Come on now. Ain't going to never run out of milk in that house. Girl, CC. And baby, she ain't had not no surgery. Girl, she got her tail, honey. Because Sierra, baby, she talking about some goodies, baby. You should have made goodies around this time. Because, baby, the goodies is goody. And come on, CC. You got, ooh, ooh, giving. Ooh, she giving. Ooh, come on, CC. Do a little twirl, girl. Ooh, girl, you got, ooh, okay. Baby, them legs still toned and stuff. I know that's right, Sierra. And then, girl, look at the cute little precious. Just precious, girl. Just precious. Look at that. Oh, just precious. Sierra got some big feet. Now, that ain't, and don't worry about it, Sierra. Don't worry about it. Look at that. Just precious, girl. Just precious. They got some sweet little precious babies, okay? How many children they got for? And not only that, I just love natural bodies. Now, nothing wrong with BBLs or nothing like that. Nah, 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 cutie ain't saying it. I'm just saying, look at this girl. Come on, baby. Yes, let that go, baby. She, I don't know what it is, baby, but she is glowing. Russell, baby, Russell, gonna, baby, he gonna put another one in there, baby, because Russell up here, baby, he is just sowing seeds, honey. Girl, now look how cute this is. Look how precious, honey. Girl, and that child looks just like Russ, baby. Look at that, the nose, good, exactly like this man, girl. This boy got some strong genes. Girl, that child look like, and the baby girl knows how. To, okay, so they got two girls and two boys because they got baby future. They got one son together and they got two girls together. Girl, this is precious. And that daughter looks just like Russell. Girl, look at baby future. Girl, y'all remember when uh future was up there getting mad, talking about some kind of, he had, a, he felt the ways because Russell was up there tending to his child, but he wasn't tending to his own damn child. I never get that with these dumb ass men. Some of them, not all of them, because there's some good fathers out here. But I never got that with men. You know what I'm saying? Y'all sitting up there. Y'all don't want child child to be happy with the next step daddy. But you damn niggas don't want to, you know, go look at LeBron. But who this is? He kind of decent. Hey, you, you, okay. You a nice looking guy. But um, you know what I'm saying, girl? He, the future don't want to do nothing for his child. But he don't want Russell to do nothing with him. Girl, just a mess, honey. Girl, he out here with the players and stuff like that, girl. I thought that that was just sweet. So they, I think that I, I really like Sierra and them. I think that they are a beautiful, beautiful family. And this is what he said for Sierra on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, my love. You make every day better in the midst of highs and lows. God made you for me and our four babies, and I'm forever grateful. Nine times calling you my Valentine, and I will want 10,000 times forevermore. That's so sweet. I think that that is just the cutest thing. I really do. I think they are literally so cute. And it's like they not even, it's not even corny with them. I think they're just a cute couple. They're just a cute married couple. I mean, he a little geeky, but I just feel like he's just baby. Russell Russell just look like he ain't playing, baby. He up there popping kids in her child, so good. But I like them. I think they're so cute. I love their family. I think that they have lovely children. Look at that. How cute is that? How cute is that, y'all? That is the cutest thing. See how cute that is? That is just too cute. Oh, that is too cute. I love that, y'all. I love it. Um, And then look, Russell, and you can tell Future Baby Future be having, I'm going to stop calling the boy Future. I don't know why I be thinking the boy Kara, that's an eggplant spread. Good. Um, but I really, in all reality, y'all, let me pepper could never with the shoes. Okay, girl, I hear you. I'm gonna need Rock to take a page out of Brad and Judy parenting book because they don't play about baby true. Yeah, go. Let's go look at Brad and uh, uh, let's go look at Brad and Judy. Hold on, let me put this up. Let's go look at Brad and Judy, y'all. We just cruising the celebrity streets, child, so y'all don't mind us. Let's look at Brad and Judy, honey. Okay. Okay, so here goes Judy. We're going to go to Judy page first. And let me tell y'all something. The bread hiding all that thickness behind her. But let me tell y'all something. The bread is a thick-ass woman, baby. I don't know if y'all seen the bread back in the days. Bitch, the bread was thick. I'm talking about she was thick to the point like, bitch, that's the body I want. 
the bread used to be thick as hell. But she, one, let me tell y'all one thing about Brad and Judy that I love. I love how Judy loves Brad and I love how Brad loves Judy. I know a lot of people sit up there, they did stay that baby, leave them people alone because they genuinely love each other. And Judy is just so, she spoils Brad. She spoils Brad. She really does because I think at one point in time, Brad was to the point she probably had so many situations in her past to where she couldn't trust nobody. But Judy really took that out of the Brad and really, you know, helped Brad open her shell. You know what I'm saying? Really helped Brad open up. But I think that Judy and Brad are phenomenal parents, baby. They are phenomenal. Brad loves that baby with every fiber in her, honey. She is an amazing, amazing mother. Okay, so hats off to the bread girl. Brad got junk in the damn trunk too. Brad got girl. The bread is thick as hell, bitch. And we was to see Brad in a dress, not dressed like a stud, bitch. Brad will sit up there and have me, and bitch, I am thick. I got ass and all. Brad would have me put me to shame. That's how. That's how good Brad body was and is, cause she not had. Uh, she not had that baby. But honey, Brad is still, psh, baby, don't let Brad fool y'all with them damn baggy ass clothes on. Because baby, Brad probably got a shape on her ass. I remember back in the day, Brad did something. I said, damn. Girl, Brad was fine. So baby, look, I remember when I was in school, baby, girls used to hate me. Girl, I had long hair, will have long hair. And girl, them girls used to look at me and just be mean and dirty and petty because I was thick and had hair. Child, they used to be so fucking mean. So I know how people are when they, you know, when they get jealous or, you know, but back then in the days, bitch, thick wasn't in when I was in high school and, you know, that wasn't in. The boys wanted the dark skinned girls and stuff. The dark skinned girls was popular where I was from. So a lot of people, I, I never understood people with the colorist stuff because baby, the dark skinned people was in, baby. The girls, yes, ma'am. But Judy is from Louisiana. A lot of y'all don't know. I believe Judy is from New Orleans or something like that. Don't get me wrong. I know she's from some part of Louisiana, but I think Judy is so, so cute. I really do. I think she's very cute. Um, and I just love this. I love, I think they have a cute family. Okay, girl, is this Miss Netta? This is Miss Netta. I just got back from the store and I just, you know, I need my hair retwisted. So I went to go grab some products real quick and I ran into the Brat Collection. We're using a vinegar rinse now. She's uh, putting it, applying it to my head. Uh, I'm going to turn this off. But let me tell y'all about Miss Netta and Chaz. I like Miss Nelda and Charles. Let's go on their page. Lord, I hope I don't get to cutting up on these people page because I love Miss Nelda and Charles. I really do. But let me um let's go find Miss Nelda and Charles. Oh, um because oh, I'm following Miss Nelda. I'm just gonna say this. I love Miss Nelda. I think Miss Nelda is so I think she's cute as a button. I think Miss Nelda is cute as a button, but I believe that her and Charles are switching roles because first of all, Miss Nelda is, is taller than Charles and that's okay, but she taller than Charles. I'm going to call him Charles. I ain't going to call him Charles. I'm going to call him Charles. But Miss Nelda is taller than Charles. But let's go ahead and we're going to scroll. I know it sounds like thunder when they get together. Girl, I, you know what, Kara? I'm not doing this. Cutie, look at their wedding pictures. Oh, yeah, girl, I did see it. I thought that was so nice. Look at you sitting up playing with a girl. Cutie, that's cutie breast What you like video with Tyrese. Okay, yeah, girl. I think her body better than her sister. Both beautiful women, though. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I ain't going to lie. That's so edge control. Brady Jelly is. Oh, is it? Girl, let me check it out. Okay, Brad. Brad, tat, tat, tat. Okay. Let me go check it out because y'all know I love supporting businesses, baby. Entrepreneur women and stuff, baby. I love entrepreneur women and business. I love supporting black business, white business, all business. But let me tell y'all about Miss Netta. I really like Miss Netta. I really do. We know Miss Netta has everybody. My thing is, I don't really understand the static that Miss Netta and Charles does get because, yes, we know we know the obvious, but Miss Netta and Charles really don't bother. No girl, is that Charles crying? Girl, Charles crying. But um, Miss Netta and Charles don't bother nobody. Go look at Charles. Okay, Charles. Oh. But I didn't know that Miss Nettle was a man. And I didn't, but Charles said that he's not part of the LGBTQ community. And that's okay. He, whatever he feel, that's what he feel. I have, me personally, I don't have no problem with the community. Okay. Um, 
But let me tell y'all this. I think that Miss Nelly is a beautiful soul. Get ready. Let me pull this chair out for my king. My king. And I think Miss Netta really knows what Charles wants because Miss Netta, and I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be funny. Miss Netta know what Charles wants because Miss Netta is a man herself. So a man going to know what a man wants. I'm not trying to, listen, don't, I'm not trying to be petty, okay? Um, But a man going to know what a man wants, okay? Um, but I love how Miss Nelda is with Charles. Um, she she just she just seems like she does love her man. Now Miss Nelda and Charles was up there. I guess they was getting um ooh, Charles. Oh, Charles chiropractor, Charles. But girl, they have their events and stuff. And Miss Nelda, you can really tell right here. Miss Nelda is real strong right here. But I think Miss Nelda is very pretty, and she needs to live her life the way she want to live her life. Y'all let y'all naysayers and stuff let the people live their little life, baby. We know it's a little strong, but you know, let the people live their little life. I think as long as they in love and. You know what I'm saying? Let the people be in love, but I don't know who be up here taking Miss Nelda pictures, but I feel like Miss Nelda and them, they be trying to play with Miss Nelda, because baby, why do y'all be letting Miss Nelda take these pictures? All these other celebrities be having girdles and stuff on, and y'all be sitting up here letting Miss Nelda dress like this, but I think because Miss Nelda got that pouch right there, maybe she can't wear a women's girdle because, you know, it may be a little extra down there. I don't know what Miss Nelda's story is, but maybe she can't wear the women's... Uh, you know, she probably can't wear the women's girdles down there because you know what I'm saying. If you got a Tusa cat and they got a little thing down there that attach, it don't affect us because we ain't got nothing long hanging. But I mean, I think Miss Nelda is cute. And I think her and Chaz was just made for each other, child. And she looks cute. I think whoever dresses her right here, Miss Nelda looks very sweet, very cute. Um, and they're doing their, you know, things together. And so good look at Chaz, good child, baby. Look at Chaz, baby. Look at Chaz. Go look at them good. Come on, Charles, with the Balenciaga. Come on, Charles. Okay, so I think that they're cute as a button. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh-uh, baby. Let's go on here. See, see, I get the scrolling and stuff, baby. We don't want to see y'all let backside, Miss Nettle. We don't want to see y'all let now. Let me cover this up. But, um, girl, yeah, I just feel like they, you know, let the people live, child. Let's see what Jaden talking about. Good. Jaden got some stuff going on here, girl. Let me look at her story before I put her story up here. Because y'all know Jaden like to be hunching on folks and stuff like that, child. Look, it is what it is. Girl, a lot of these people, let me tell you something too, girl. Y'all can say what y'all want to say about me. That's fine. But I'm going to say it like this, baby. When you got white folks buying your products and white people ain't racist, I love y'all to death. But, baby, when you got white folks buying your products, bitch, people buying your products. Because y'all know these Caucasian girls, it's only a little bit, baby. These Caucasian girls don't just be buying anybody products. All right, good. When you got a Caucasian girl wearing your shit, bitch, you know your stuff selling. You know your stuff selling, baby, because them white gals, baby, they not just going to buy anything. You hear me? So, child, like I said before, people can say what they want to say about Jaden Alexis, but good, Jaden Alexis is up there doing the dang on thing, and Jaden Alexis is up there selling their merch. And at the end of the day, Jaden Alexis got famous for doing absolutely, tootalutely not a damn thing. And she got rich off of Krishan head. That I, I let that sink in, let it sink in. Okay. But anyway, y'all, y'all know me good. I be liking to talk about different things. It's okay and cool to talk about the regular content. Y'all know we're gonna have all the razzle dazzle with that. But it's always great to go into something new and to do other, you know, little things new. They are very cute together. Yeah, all oh, I gotta jump and go cook my liver onions. Oh, I haven't had liver in so long, y'all. I need to, liver sounds good. But anyway, you guys, make sure y'all go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all do not forget that we do have merch coming up, you guys, and I do have um, announcements to make uh, probably tomorrow. I don't know if I make them tomorrow today, but maybe tomorrow. But we do have the merch, you guys, that is out now. We only have one shirt right now to show. All of my other merch is ready, but I will be releasing the merch a little bit at a time. I've shown y'all one tumblers, but I will be getting on here doing a video, you guys. I might do it on my members to where I show all of my members all of the products up close and 
personal. You can see the um you can see the uh what is it y'all the bossed up cutie girls um tumblers and things like that so it's definitely um it's definitely i love the merch so much i love the tumblers i love the shirts i have seen the shirts and they are amazing um, so y'all make sure y'all go ahead and y'all get those. Also, you guys remember the one-on-one -on -one sale is until March 1st. On March 1st, that day, the uh, one-on-ones will be going back. I'm sorry, not March, April. April 1st, sorry. April 1st, the um, the one-on-ones will be going back to $300. So right now, while they are $100, go ahead and get these one-on-ones while I'm literally giving y'all the game. Literally $100. Um, and when you book for the class, even if you book the class, you know, today, tomorrow, whenever, and you can't take it to next year or you can't take it to the end of the year, that's your business. But just go ahead and do it. I'm going to write your name down. I have a list already. And just go ahead and buy your one-on-one -on -one while it's $100. Because when we get to April 1st, I don't want to hear nobody say, well, cutie, I, you ain't you ain't helping. Uh-uh. I don't want to hear it. Get the help while the help is here because I'm going up on all my products, baby. So go ahead and get them while they at the affordable price, okay? We also got the rich off of influencer coin content. This is my most popular uh e-guide because people love this e-guide due to it being uh literally step by step with instagram y'all know i do my big one on instagram y'all know i show receipts on everything i do but i do my big one on any social media platform i'm on and this rich alpha influencer coin content is amazing also i do really really good on my stand on business bundle guys as well uh you can get the canva tutorial you can get the youtube tutorial or you can get the stand on business side hustles and vendors okay you can get it one at a time or you can purchase them as the bundle also, you guys, Bossed Up Cutie Girls, y'all remember that we will be having freebies all this week, you guys, on the Bossed Up Cutie Girls membership. So if you are a Bossed Up Cutie Girl member, whether it is on Instagram or whether it is here on YouTube, make sure you just go over there and continue to... Um, pay attention to that member wall um because there will be freebies um a lot of downloadable freebies a lot of freebies that can get mailed to you um once i choose the winner and it's just etc cetera, etc cetera. so y'all make sure if you are a bossed up cutie girl on instagram or youtube y'all make sure y'all go ahead and pay attention um to those member walls okay so yes you guys we will have everything situated i'm getting everything together so that you guys can get everything that i sell on one platform okay all right now so let's get on up out of here you guys make sure you keep your hearts pure and your souls divine hit the like button for your girl on the way out shout out to the replay gang my name is cutie tv and i'll see you guys in the next one <music>